if you've just got home and you've had a really bad day, a really stressful day, and you're really just feeling all those negative emotions, here's a couple of strategies that you could put in place. First of all, I'm sorry you're feeling that way. And at times teaching can really take some of that, that joy out of life. And what we need to do is make sure we put it back in and we return our thoughts, emotions, and feelings back to the positive. So I want you to turn off your school computer. I want to turn off that list, that to-do list, the marking, the reports, and go and spend the next 10, 15, 20 minutes doing something for you that makes you happy. Whether that's dancing around the kitchen, playing music at a loud volume, walking, taking the dog for a walk, talking to a friend, going out in nature, having a bubble bath, whatever that self-care, 10, 15, 20 minutes is, go do that because what it'll do is start to release some of that stress from your body and it will give you a chance to unwind and bring back to the present. And then I want you to go and get a drink and some food because the chances are you probably haven't eaten healthily today or you probably haven't even eaten today because a lot of us teachers don't we're so busy rushing around all the time we forget to do the essentials and our bodies need it and the chances are if you've been stressed for a couple of days you're probably not sleeping very well so make sure you go and do that go and get that rest turn the computer off do not do that work. It will still be there tomorrow. That problem will still be there. You can then come at it with a response rather than a reaction. You will take out some of that stress from the situation and that anger and that trigger that's, that's got you in a bad mood. Remember, you can only serve your students when you have the energy to do that. So you must put on your oxygen mask first. You must self-care. You must take that moment to... Go back to the positive emotions. Let all of that negative energy out of your body because if you don't, it will carry on into tomorrow and the rest of the weekend and the rest of the term and it will build up the stress. I wish somebody had taught me that years ago. Go put yourself first. It's not selfish, it's self-care and it's needed. It's essential. You will then turn up tomorrow with a more positive energy and you'll be able to cope with whatever challenges turn up in the classroom tomorrow. Take care of yourself, keep looking after yourself. You're important, you're special, you're needed.